We are not what we have been told, number one, and we are more perhaps than we've ever even allowed ourselves to imagine. This conversation that you've been having around having a new human story and, you know, it's, it's a shift in paradigm. What is it going to take to create that shift mm. in human consciousness? It is the mysteries of the DNA and how that reveals that we have far more potential inside of us than what we have realized or even been manifesting. You talked about these superhuman abilities. You talked about regeneration, self-healing, super immunity, and, and you know so many gifts that are there to be unlocked within our DNA. We literally are a highly advanced, technologically sophisticated, soft technology. But we have the unique ability to self-regulate to upgrade on demand, uh, to up, up regulate genes on demand. The key access points to our technology are held in the most ancient and cherished indigenous and spiritual traditions. And it's all about thought, feeling, emotion, breath, and focus. My question was, how far do these parallels extend? How, how programmable are we? Uh, and, and to what degree can we upgrade or upregulate our, our own technology? We live in a world that's changing faster than we've been conditioned to accept that change. And we've also been conditioned to hinge our sense of well-being, Teresa, on the world around us. They create this tension in our bodies, uh, the unresolved stress. Uh, that, and we know it leads to inflammation. Well, that is the information that we're feeding into the, the genome. Mm -hmm. We're tightening that chromatin and the DNA is enabled to express as fully. And we see that our immune system, for example, takes a hit. And we all know this. When we live in stress, the immune system takes a hit. So epigenetic means above the genes. But this is a way that we can create a more positive epigenetic expression that allows us to access more of the genetic potential.